Now that you have your affiliate website built and ready to go live, the one thing you need to be asking yourself is, how am I going to drive traffic to it? So how do you get traffic to come and visit? What works and what doesn't work? Take a look at these ways of getting viewers to your site. You could just get a large number of people to come to your site by buying cheap generic traffic from another website. However, there is a problem with this method. You have no idea what their real interests are, so it is most likely that you will only receive one or two clicks on your links per 10,000 visitors. This is because these generic visitors are not qualified. They have not indicated an interest in what your site is about. Ultimately what happens, for example, is that someone who was looking to buy a professional development book gets taken to your camping equipment affiliate site. They will immediately click away because you are not offering anything that interests them. Interest in camping. You will be on the right track if you think of qualifying your traffic as a process where you filter out the people who are not interested in your site before they get to your site. Quality traffic is key to help keep your conversion rates high if the only people who land on your site are actually interested in what you have to offer to start with. You will want to keep looking good, specifically if you will be showing your conversion rates to other marketers and prospective clients. The main reason you want to qualify your traffic is because if you are paying for a traffic method, you do not want to drive people who are not interested in your site to begin with. You only want to be paying for traffic that is interested in your site. The more interested they are, the better. Another question you might be asking yourself is, how much should I pay? This all depends on how much you will make when someone clicks on one of your affiliate links and makes a purchase. You should be tracking your website statistics so you know on average one out of every 100 visitors to your site will actually buy something. If you will earn a zero commission, then you know that the maximum you should be spending on traffic should be zero for every 100 visitors. If you are able to get 1,000 qualified visitors for zero, then on average you will spend zero and turn over zero zero leaving you zero profit. Now you have a better idea of how to get traffic to your affiliate site. A great deal depends on your conversion rate and the amount of commission you make on each sale. It is possible to generate free traffic to your site, but you will end up paying with your time instead of money. Paid traffic is far more effective and as long as you track your stats, you can stay within any budget.